Okay, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So we're gonna this is gonna be the first flight with the Phantom 3 standard and Leechy. So I'm running it on my Nexus tablet. I've got it paired with the uh, controller. So let's go ahead and we've got um, nine satellites, ten satellites now. So let's go ahead and let's launch this. So we're gonna hit the takeoff. So we're gonna use auto takeoff. And we're in the air. So one of the things with this, I want to start the recording. Uh, take out execution. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so I believe the camera is recording because the it's clicking up. This is my first time with Leechy, so uh, I want to take it up a little bit more. But stay back, Rock. So I just want to take a look around. Now I tell you, versus the up air, this is really stable compared to the up air. And you can kind of see uh, just how, how it's holding compared to the up air in the previous episodes in the various flights. So um, again, let's go ahead. I'm going to take it up and out. Up and out over the lake. And so we got it up there. And my screens, my lychee screen's really not updating itself. Oh, uh, now, now we're getting a little update. That's the one thing versus the up air that, uh, in versus the, the Phantom 3 standard is the FPV updates are very slow compared to what I'm used to on the, uh, the up air. So I'm panning this around. I'm capturing video. Um, now you can see on the map, you can see on the map where I'm at here. So this is about where I'm at. So you can kind of see, see, if, see if the orientation, how the orientation updates with reference to the way it's pointed. So I want to see if I can take it out a little bit more. And I want to take it up a little bit more. I'm going out and up, being up there. Now, one of the prior episodes, I went for the buoys. I think I might, uh, I might try for the buoys. You see here uh, where I got. I'm out there pretty good, so I'm actually going to try going up towards the the two buoys. I'm going up towards the two buoys. I'm not, having a hard time distinguishing it versus the seagulls in the sky. But now I should be up around. I should be up around the buoys. Can you guys see it out there? No. Can you see it out there? Is it sort of lined up with those buoys? Okay, so I'm going to switch back to FPV mode and uh, see if I can do some gimbaling here. I'm having rather slow performance on the uh, refresh or the FPV. So this is rather hard to see. I'm down. Uh, you guys still, you guys still see it out there? Okay, in map mode, it says it's out there pretty good ways. It's out right about here, so. Uh, let's take it back to FPV. So, altitude, it looks like it's about 191 feet, and it's about 1,100 feet out. So let's see if I can bring it back a little bit. So I've disconnected. I've just now disconnected. And now I'm back in connection. So I'm going to issue the return. I think I'm going to re issue return to home. And see what happens.
Um, you see it out there anywhere? I still, I still show it as having signal. Is it coming back this way? Do you think it's going left? Now I'm back to having signal. I think it's coming back this way. It seems to be that it's showing on the map out there. Because it's showing it, it's 878 feet away. So 878 feet away is not far. Uh, lost signal again, but now nah, it's reconnected. Where is it at? Where? Right dead ahead. Oh yeah, okay. So it is, it is fairly close. Does it look like it's coming? Yeah, it's coming back this way. Woo, good, ah! It's coming over there. I didn't lose a drone today. It'd be interesting to see what the video is on this one. Okay. Well, we still got pretty good battery. This is 69. So this is, uh, Leachy's had a little bit different curve versus the DJI Go app. So uh, a little bit uh, uh, harder to... Well, it'll take a little bit more work in figuring out. Also, the refresh on this tablet is, is terribly slow on the um, on the uh, FPV. So, I don't know. This isn't working out like I had expected with this tablet. I think I'm going to have to try a different tablet. So, I'm just kind of bringing it in. So, I'm just going to bring it back around this way. And here we go, bring it back around. The stability on, on the Phantom 3 standard is just simply crazy. So, so let's bring this down a little bit. But see, that, that's one of the things that I keep sharing on this channel about drones. So, so with the drone, you have to be able to afford to lose it. Because I was kind of thinking this bad boy might have flew off into the drink. So, but it's a kind of a good thing it didn't. So here it is right here. I want to bring it down a little bit. Kind of mess around with it. Kind of bringing it back. I want to save out the video. Okay, I think I saved the video. Okay, I think I started the video again. So, but again, you can see it just, just hovering up there. Does an excellent job just checking, making sure everything's clear. So it looks like everybody went home for the night. So that's a good thing. So, uh, so going to mess around.
So where are those kids screaming at? So I'm gonna run, I'm just gonna run this up the beach. And then bring it back. I'm gonna bring it up. Bring it up the back. So I'm getting about 58% battery. Although I'm closer, the FPV is, seems to be working better. She moves pretty quick. Now the FPV seems to be working. Well, now I probably made a liar out of me. I got sandal in my... So here's... here's I got in my... So wave, we're on video. Hi YouTube! Hello! Can I try it? Okay. Yeah. God, I don't know about that. This, this makes it go forward. This makes it go backwards. This makes it go left. This makes it go right. Can I try it? This, that makes it go up and down and that yaws it, but don't play with that one. Dad's trying it right now. Okay. This one's a this one's a little bit big for you. No, I did this is the one I did. No, you did the SEMA X5. I'm having an argument with my grandson. I can still do it. Please, please. We'll see. Maybe another time. No. If you get a little bit more practice, this one's a little bit more expensive. Because batteries, batteries used. We already did that one. That's a whole nother beast in itself. Actually, actually, this one's got auto land. You, you, you. Pull this one down. Okay. See, that makes it go down. See, see, see if you can land it on the yellow. Once it, once it touches down, just pull and hold the stick straight down all the way down until it shuts off. All right, we've got a novice trying to land the Phantom Three standard. Oh, Brock, stand back. Hey, you're doing pretty good. Coming down. We got two lights on the battery. So that's not bad. It's pretty good flight time. Yes. Okay. Wow. Now press this button. Did that button stop blinking? Yeah, let me see. That was pretty good landing. I'm impressed. There you go. Recording stop. There we go. So, we thought we lost the Phantom 3 standard. We didn't lose the Phantom 3 standard. I'm really interested to see the video on this one. So, we're definitely having some problems with lychee on this tablet. I think I'm going to have to upscale the tablet a little bit or do something. Because uh, that just did not work out. Um, so, I kind of because I kind of lost orientation out there. Uh, we had a novice land it. Did a very good job. Right on the lid. By the way, these lids, I use these um, yellow crates I got at Home Depot to carry the uh, copters around. Uh, great for carrying around. Also makes a great cheap landing pad, as you've seen, because it's got the sand here and it keeps the sand from getting in the motors. So, anyways, uh, you got comments, hit me up below. I'll have links to this uh, copter. Again, it's this, this is a great copter. A little bit more work than the up air to fly, but, you know, definitely more refined in, in certain ways. So, definitely an enjoyable bird. So, subscribe button's coming up over there, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers!